Well, hello world. Okay, so I just want to bring some good news. Um, the Holy Spirit has led me to a part in scripture that I am just amazed how this is playing out to be. So basically, I just did like this whole video of talking about everything I'm about to just briefly go over now. Um, and some, you know, say in Israel, because out of the blue, it was recording. And now I can't find this recording like nowhere in my computer, like nowhere. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to deliver the message anyway. So basically what I came to spread light on is I was looking up child, like child molesters, because it's like, there's a lot of broke, there's a lot of broken families when it comes to like just por pornography, sex, and just all this stuff that this you know, that the evil spirits, you know, they enslave us with all of this stuff or whatever. So it's like, um, you know, I've, it's just a lot of people lives are messed up for, for whatever, you know? And so this topic is going to be about child molesters because the Holy Spirit has, um, the Holy Ghost has been leading me to this. And it's been like, my eyes was so glued on it when I seen it. So child, molester, child molestation is basically when somebody has sex with a child basically under puberty or, you know, if she's like 12 or younger or 12, I think it's 16. Yeah, excuse me, 16. So if she's 16 or younger, then that's called, you are like, they call you a predator, a child molester, and you go to jail, you get felonies and all of this stuff. And Okay, guys, so question, what happens if after puberty, you would consider a young do a young male, and let's say you have like a, a like your teacher or something, y'all like each other, your teacher is like 20 something or whatever, or you're an older man and you like a younger woman and it wasn't no like forced sex, it was like really, I'm vibing with this person and y'all have sex. Technically, when y'all first have sex, that is your wife. According to the scripture, the, the Bible that I read, God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And so, um, uh, see, I lost my thought. I'm coming back together. Come on. Okay. So, yeah. So, basically, in the Bible, if you go to uh, Ezekiel 16, Ezekiel 16, 7 says, I made you grow like a plant of a field. You grew and developed and entered puberty. So according to puberty, the definition of puberty is basically a period of when a male or a female uh, matures their reproductive organs and they start growing facial hairs and, fur and their breasts and stuff start development. And they, you know, they have, the women have uh, menstruations and stuff. So puberty basically means whenever you are starting to, you, you're starting to develop and now you can have kids at this point. So at that age, you are able to have sex with a man that is in his thirties. If you're 10 and you had your period, you are a young adult and you can have sex. If a 50 year old man want to come have sex with you, he can. If y'all like each other and if it's not no rape or anything or whatever, but God's forgives everybody that God forgives everyone who confesses him as his Lord and Savior and they want to you know cleanse their life so um at the end of the day the Bible talks about this I made you grow like a plant of the field you grew and developed in an in inter puberty your breast had formed and your hair had grown yet you were stark naked later I passed by and when I looked at you and I saw that you were old enough for love. I spread the corner of my garment over you and covered your naked body. I gave you my solemn oath and entered it and entered a covenant with you, declares the sovereign Lord, and you became mine. God got bars, y'all. He got bars, right? So you mean to tell me that these laws and authorities and God has put all of this stuff that's on this earth, God put it here for good, but you got evil people that's corrupting the system. And so 
And God says in Romans 13, one, it says, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exit have, um, excuse me, the authorities that exit have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is re uh, was rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will be judged on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those do right. But for those who do wrong, do you want to be free and fear of the one and authority? Then do what's right and you will be commended. For the one in authority is God's servants for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid. For rulers do not bear the sword nor reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoers. Therefore, if it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of consequence. This is also why we pay our taxes. And then it goes on into scripture. So God already, God instituted this and he already said for the people who's doing wrong, trust me, God um, agents is here. And we are opening up what God has revealed inside of us. So again, all this molestation, this, oh, uh, uh, he in jail because him and his younger girl, if, if, she's, if she had her period, y'all have to go back and try, find all those cases and y'all gonna have to let them free and pay them and a whole bunch of things God is gonna be doing. I'm here to do my part. There's a lot of other people that are gonna be doing their part. But a lot of men is going to be free, uh, predominantly the black community. It's the black community. So guys, it stopped. The guys, it's here. God is still walking on this earth. Excuse me. God is still here. Jesus is here. So the Holy that 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 uh, the the Holy Spirit is is inside of us. The ones he the ones he called. So um, I'm here to spread the word. And they tell it, and I'm, I'm only reading Oklahoma laws. Oklahoma, you can't get married. Um, the minimum age is 16. Okay, so, but the Bible say once you started your puberty, then you can have sex and then you have to marry your husband. So it's contradicting himself. So are you going to follow God? Or are you going to follow man-made rules? That is where we have been so suppressed for 400 something years. We've been suppressed and our slaves, Africa, our ancestors, everybody, uh, the whites, the Mexicans and all the lives that have been killed, enough is enough. God has heard all of their cries. Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, all of them. COVID is not here by coincidence. It's here to start a whole new chapter. Trust me, trust me. God knows your heart. God knows when you're playing and he knows when you are for real. And if you got the Holy Spirit and you believe in God and you got a little faith, he's not upset that you doubting and scared and, oh my God, do you not know how I feel right now on broadcasting this news? But guess what? He who lives with inside, uh, he who lives inside of me is greater than the one who lives out in the world. And guess what? He already defeated Satan, went to hell and went to Hades, got the keys and came back up, risen again. So my resurrected king has resurrected me and all the other Christ followers out there. So it's time, you know, we all gonna stand together. Stand together. We're gonna be one nation under God, indivisible and liberty and justice for all. How do we preach that? You gotta practice what you preach, right America? Practice what you preach. How do you say that? One nation. How do you say one nation under God, indivisible, but liberty and justice for all? How is it justice for all? But it's okay. We, we, we got too many people who shed their, their lives and blood. George Floyd. He, had, he, was our, he was the sacrifice. He has started a new era and God already seen it's coming. God knows everything works together for the glory of the Lord. Trust me. 
and and God's word says the ones that who was oppressed will, will be over our rulers, but we, we won't treat them like that. And trust me, remember that Bible, remember that story in the Bible when the pastor had all that money he had to do and he couldn't pay it and he went away. And then the uh the king forgave him for his debts and all that good stuff. That same, that same pastor went and seen somebody else that owed him some money and and threaten him you don't get my money and then you know the king heard of it or whomever I, i'm getting the story a little bit but the king heard of it and the, and the guy ended up something he ended up getting killed i believe yeah god sees it so whenever we black people mexican people and white people too everybody who's been oppressed whenever you 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 in power and you got it's the other way around and they and you know they need help and the other races need help we still have to help trust me God knows, trust me. If you don't think this is a divine purpose right here, you got another thing coming. So again, there's a lot of people that's gonna be free. I'm here to disturb hell. I'm here to set people free. And I'm here to speak the glory of God. The new earth, the new heaven is coming. Trust me. Believe, have faith. This is the series starting called Developing Kings and Queens Ministry. It's a movement. It's something God has put up, been putting on my heart. And so um, I'm also a, a nonprofit organization. And so I do have a cash app. I was blocked out of my Facebook today uh, for some weird reason. I couldn't get on Facebook, but um, if you guys could donate whatever, I will never tell you guys what to, you know, what amount to donate, but if it's on your heart and if it's uh, God telling you to place it in there, please help me out so I can help bless the communities and all over the nation. It can be like one pit that we all can get out of, you know, for the need the people, you know, bless the people in the ministry that's spreading the word and all these good things. There's change. It's, change is coming and change is here. And I'm so excited to be part of this. I'm so excited, guys. So again, thank you. Um, now we about to really raise some hell because we got a lot of people in jail right now that are called child molesters. And according to God's words, um, that, that's not how it goes. So um, I know this is gonna hit news, breaking news or whatever, but, um, but God is here. So who shall I fear? Love you guys, stay blessed. I got more stuff coming. Can I say bye?